everyone, John here with another Monster Hunter video. Before I even start that though, I wanted to really put point out in um, my Monster Hunter uh, 5 reasons to uh, buy Monster Hunter World. I made a little mistake and Divio18, I believe that's how you pronounce your name, pointed out that Monster Hunter uh, World is actually coming out early 2018. I believe I said late 2018. That was a mistake on my part, my apologies. I'll try to make sure to not fuck up stuff like that again. But anyway, moving on to my top 5 favorite weapons in Monster Hunter. And by the way, the games that uh, I will be judging for top, my top 5 is the games that I have, uh, you know, played a lot. I've played some of the uh, 3DS games, but I didn't play them enough because uh, I never really owned the game on my th uh, 3DS because my screen was too small. I have the I have the Zelda uh, 3DS somewhere in my room. Uh, here's a picture of it. It's just, the screen's just too small. I'm legally blind, so I just I didn't buy another Monster Hunter game for the 3DS because it was just too small for my shitty eyes to see, so I just didn't bother. But yeah, anyway. Um, so the only games that I will be judging in this video are going to be Monster Hunter Freedom, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, Monster Hunter Try, and Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. These are the only ones that I played religiously and a lot and pretty much des destroyed the game. I played everything. In these games so the only weapons that I will be judging are the weapons in these specific games however when Monster Hunter World comes out I might make a um, revamped version of this video for just world alone uh, but anyway let's get started my first weapon uh, number five is the switch X now the switch X is the lowest on this list only because um, a specific reason I'll be getting to later but when I first saw the Switch X in Monster Hunter Try, I thought it was one of the coolest fucking things ever. It is a gun, well, kind of a gun. It's like an exploding gun mixed with a broadsword with an axe. It's really, really cool. And I thought about it. Thought about, yeah, I thought it was one of the coolest things in the game. And I played with it for a little while, but I eventually just did didn't uh, stick with it, mostly because I really like uh, blocking weapons. Or at least weapons that give you really good mobility, at least, like, you know, which we'll see in the later parts of this video. Um, but I really like the the way the Switch Axe works, like, the Switch Axe reloads, which I always thought it was, I always like weapons that reload. I don't know why, I just think about guns, uh, guns, weapons that reload that I just think of it as cool. I, it's one of those things that alert me, that gets me wanting to use the gun, or weapon, I mean. <laughs> um, it is primarily a cutting weapon, but it also does do, not impact damage, but explosive damage. Uh, because one of his attacks literally causes the gun to explode inside of the weapon and it causes a sharpness to plummet But it's just so fucking cool and it gives you a lot of options. So you'll have a longer range uh, X type weapon that could that is very fast very uh, You know good to move around with and then you get this broadsword variant, which is high damage But you slow you're a lot slower and I really thought it was one of the coolest things ever, but Eventually, I got out of using it because I just I like the idea of being able to roll uh, all the time or block. It's 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 kind of weird just because the mobility for this weapon isn't the highest, I guess you could say. Um, or and also it doesn't block as well, but it's got super good damage. But the weapon did grow on me for a little while. I just I just don't find myself using it as much as I used to anymore. The hammer. The hammer is just a good old-fashioned original weapon from the uh, very first monster of the games. It's just really reliable. I, 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 have no, I don't know what else to say about this thing. It's just really reliable. It's also really fun to knock out animals and just just watch them squirm on the floor with their when you give them like five different layers of concussions with your hammer. The hammer also has a lot of cool ways to really just damage people. You can spin around circles and get unleash the end of the attack with a high up attack. Or you just slam them down. It, it's just, it's a really, it's the best impact weapon in the game, hands down, because its primary use is just all impact. Um, it's also one of those great weapons that's really good for taking out any armored targets. So, any, um, any monster that's armored from head to toe is pretty much fucked when you use this thing. Uh, especially if you have the right elemental, uh, parts equipped to it. Three, the katana. Oh my god, who would have seen this coming? The katana on a top five favorite weapons in Monster Hunter's list? Who could have seen that coming? Oh my god! Oh yeah, the katana. The katana's got great mobility, an amazing amount of damage. 
Especially when the more you uh you unleash your like super sexy mega combo thing, it makes your damage go even higher. It's I think it is just a small boost though. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure when you max out that thing, it ignores all cutting. I'm not or not cutting, but uh, I'm pretty sure it just stacks all the damage and just makes the weapon sharpness better. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I genuinely don't look all this stuff up because it's more fun to figure it out myself in the games unless I absolutely need to look stuff up. But, like, Atana is uh, really because it's got grim mobility. And it's a great weapon to use against monsters like the Ker Nurakuga or anything that's also fast. Um, I will say sometimes the dodging mechanic, at least in Portable 3rd, has a bit of a weird thing when you swipe to the left or have swipe to the right. Sometimes it won't do exactly how you want it, depending on where the camera's angled. That could just be my controller, though. I'm not sure 100%. It could just be the controller. Um, it could also just, I don't know, be its own game. So, I don't know. Also, I just love the, that mega combo thing. It's super sexy. Mm, love just the way you just put the katana away at the end. And the new monster of the game, it looks fucking awesome, I just gotta say. Same thing for, same for the hammer, by the way. Just, I forgot to put that in there, but yeah, the hammer's got a great, awesome front flip thing. But anyway. Number two! The Great Sword! Alright, so the Great Sword and me have gone back a very long, 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 long time. The Great Sword was my main weapon of choice since I was 10. And the only time I ever really switched was for number one, but. Mmm, God almighty, that great sword. I love the great sword. The great sword and me went through so much together. Especially as a kid, I would kill so many Rathlioses and Rathians. I've killed basically everything in Portable. Uh, not Portable. I've pretty much killed everything in Freedom Unite with the broadsword. Like everything. And it's just a great weapon. It is extremely slow, though. But it, it gives you a block ability, which I love blocking, as you know. And granted, it takes like half your fucking stamina bar. But it's still a, it, it's a block. It's, it's, it does what it does. And it's got great charges. And in the new monster of the game, as far as I can tell, there's a few new charge abilities with the uh, broadsword and a shoulder bash. I think I can't really tell. But I I just love the broadsword. It's one of my favorites, and it's probably gonna be one of the weapons I switch to a lot in the new Monsters of the World. Uh, oof, excuse my voice. Monsters of the World uh, when it comes out. Definitely gonna be using that thing along with number one, the gun lance. Uh, well, it's a gun and it's a lance. I mean, <laughs> fucking shit. It's my favorite weapon of all time just because it's got fucking explosions, man. Granted, it doesn't do impact damage, any of that shit. Like, I, I originally thought it did impact damage. I don't know when I was a kid. I don't know why. Granted, I, I, I mean, I know why. It's because it does great damage against armor targets as well. Uh, but the gun lance. It's primarily on here because it's a great harassing weapon, especially you want to just get in there and just start stabbing, 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 stabbing them and just blowing them up. And it's great for chipping away armor too, like I said before. Um, but it does not do any impact damage, so you're not gonna knock anyone unconscious or anything like that, or give them a tumor in the head because you're beating the shit out of them. Um, but it's just a, I just love it. It's it's got a huge explosion. It's got multiple little explosions. It's got charge of explosions. It's it's a switch army knife of explosions. It's my favorite weapon because of uh, fucking explosion. Exceptional! I'm sorry. Like um it's just it's a great weapon. Uh, the only problem I really have with the gun lance that pisses me off is that it's awful at cutting off tails. Uh the, well it depends on the it depends on the monster for the most part, but monsters like the Rathlios and Raytheon are a pain in the butt to take on to cut off their tails when you're just swinging upward and you're missing with the gun lance. Uh, but overall, Gunlines is my favorite of all time weapon, and I cannot wait for them to show it off. Why are you, why haven't they shown more weapons in in Monster of the World? This is my, this is my question because I want to see it. I want to see what new attacks this thing got in Monster of the World. As I, I want it, I need it in my life now. I need it now, Capcom. But yeah, those are my favorite, five favorite weapons in Monster Hunter. Um. If you guys have five favorite weapons in Monster Hunter, let me know in the comments. Hell, if you got five uh, top tens, it's, leave them in the comments. Just let me know. And if you guys like my list, let me know. Uh, I might do more stuff about Monster Hunter. I'm also thinking of doing my top ten favorite monsters in Monster Hunters games. Uh, maybe. 
I'm not sure because I do have to go through a lot of different games because I think I'm just gonna actually put in other games I haven't played yet and just use them by design and lore alone but I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not but anyway let me know in the comments See you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey everyone, just a big shout out to Jacob Abrasa for being our patron. You were amazing, man. And if anyone else would like to join up and be a patron, there's a link in the description down below where you can give us any donations of any money from a dollar to a billion dollars. Just give us a billion dollars. Anyway, thanks again, Jacob. Love you, man.